up guys welcome back once again it is me Molt. so happy to be here with you guys today we've got another base build as you can see up on the screen this thing looks like an arrow pointing at the town hall um it's kind of like a northern teaser uh, to a certain extent but uh i am up in masters one right now um and i'm gonna start a lot of people do this now is they'll make farming bases and still be able to push because you get free shields and then that way when you're on and you're attacking uh, you can get in five attacks or so if you've got everything boosted up uh, and then you just log off and know that hopefully you'll only get one star instead of two star <laughs> um, and you can also protect your loot that way so that's what we are doing today I've got it pulled up over here on the screen so I'm gonna go ahead and talk it out with you guys as we do this. Um, so the biggest thing for me is going to be protecting my Dark Elixir because I really want to upgrade my heroes. Um, so we're going to bring that in the center as well as uh, our clan castle. And um, two of our expos, we're going to go one and two. And then we're actually going to put the other one uh, out here. I think, it, yeah, right there. Um, so that's our little core. We're going to bring our queen up in there too. She's going to be protecting in there. Um, she is, her range is going to be pretty good. And this way it's also going to pull some people in uh, right here. As you can see, I have these two little giant bomb sections um, that are really going to make people mad uh, when they send in their troops. We're going to put um, some Teslas right in front of those so that uh, it'll pull troops in there and then they'll walk in and honestly just get absolutely annihilated by it. We'll go ahead and bring in our other two Teslas so we don't have to scroll around for those uh, later on. So those are going to go right there. This little bottom section right here, we've got an archer tower uh, in it. We've got an air defense in it. And then we've got just two uh, random buildings as well in it right there. We can go ahead and bring in the rest of our air defenses. We're going to put one right here and one right here. And then we're also going to throw in some archer towers, which really do work as air defenses as well. Um, and then we've got cannons that we're putting right in front of uh, these two things. Uh, right in front. Oh, is that one done? Did it finish? Maybe I already had two of them done. Um, so this way, if somebody's attacking with Lavunian or anything like that, uh, and they want to go for that air defense, they're going to go right here for this cannon, thinking that they're going to go for the air defense. But really, uh, right after that, they're going to head right over to that Tesla, um, since it is out and closer. Um, so we'll go ahead and uh, bring that cannon a little bit closer over to it. So that way they're going to attack that, and then all the while, all of these air defenses and these archer towers are just going to crush any kind of air troops that come in from the bottom. So I think that that'll work fairly well. I guess we're going to end up seeing what happens with it. Um, but since this is a farming base, guys, we want to have our loot spread out um, around the base so that people can't get it too easily. And we also want our wizard towers to be protecting our loot as always because wizard towers are freaking life. I love wizard towers. They do so much damage and protect your loot so well. Uh, we're going to throw another one right in there. And we're going to bring in some more of our loot right here. <sighs> Throw in our Inferno Towers as well as our Mortars. So our Mortars have really, really good range in this base. They get all the way out to the edge of it. Um, and are really going to help protect as well. We're going to bring in our last Air Defense and put that uh, right here. Come on. And then we're going to throw in uh, Gold and Elixir right here as well. And then we're also going to do... Uh, gold wizard elixir again with the wizard tower protecting our defense <laughs> not our defense is our loot uh, and then we're going to protect those sections as well with these other sections of cannons and archers so um, that is what is protecting our loot also not just our wizards but our cannon and our archer little sections over here so as you can see that it's looking pretty good and we've got all these little pathways in there that are really going to mess people up um, as they try and get in and attack us. Uh, next, we need to bring in our other mortars. We've got one mortar right here, and we've got one mortar right here. They are going to cover so much of this base. Uh, it is ridiculous in this open area that we don't really have to worry about anything. Yes, they are open, and they're not protected by any walls, um, but they are in a good range to where you can see the red line goes right to the archer tower, so anything attacking the archer tower is fair game for the mortar to hit. Um, so that's why I like having that there. And then we're going to throw our king in here as well. He's just going to pull people in and distract them away from 
um, from the defenses as the defenses shoot them and just completely destroy them. So we're just going to bring in the rest of these buildings. You want to have them somewhat spread out um, <clears throat> so that the troops kind of have longer to travel, which means that they have more time to get shot by your defenses, so on and so forth. Um, we're going to bring our uh, laboratory out here, and then we're going to bring our spell factory right in here. We're just going to throw some other random buildings just out and about in this little portion um, so that there's a lot that the troops have to attack in order to uh, make their way in. So let's go ahead and see what else we've got. We've got one giant bomb that we want to throw in right here. We've got some traps. We're going to put uh, one trap right here, one trap right here, and then let's go ahead and uh, throw in a trap right here on that archer tower and a trap right here. Come on. And then we're also going to put one trap in front of uh, this Tesla and one trap in front of that Tesla also. Uh, and I think that that's going to hold them off fairly well. We'll go ahead and bring in our uh, our air bombs also, since those are very, very important, uh, especially when protecting against uh, Lavunian and things of that sort. So we'll throw one of our seeking air mines on all the corners. And then we're going to uh, bring in our other air bombs as well uh, into the rest of the base. We'll throw one right there in the middle. We've got three more. We'll bring one right over here by this air defense and then we're going to throw in two up here for anybody that tries to uh, attack up towards the top of the base. And then we're also going to bring out uh, one of our skeleton traps. That one is set to air and we're also going to set these to air, the ones that are protecting our, um, our air defenses. So there's going to be a lot of air defense towards the bottom of this base. Uh, that if anybody tries to attack from down there, they're going to run into some problems. Uh, same with our expo and our uh, air defense up there. They should do a good job of uh, protecting us and whatnot. So we'll go ahead and just bring in the rest of these buildings, guys. And obviously all of these bases I build for you guys on Clash of Clans Builder. <clears throat> and I like them. I haven't used them yet, but I always just want to do videos on it to show you guys uh, what I'm coming up with, what I'm... I don't know, staying in line with where these other cannons go. Oh yeah, oops, that can't go there. This has to go like here. So we've got one more cannon right here and we've got one more cannon uh, right here as well. Um, and we'll have both of those. Where's that one at? Oh, there we go. I love things to be symmetrical. So that's why I'm looking at it like, all right, what do I need to do? <laughs> uh, so we'll go ahead and just bring in the rest of these buildings all the way along this area and as you guys know I always say do resource building non resource building resource building non resource building so on and so forth all the way around the base just because it um, spreads your loot out so if you're gone for a while uh, and somebody comes in they can't they have to fully deploy all the way around the base if they're gonna get your loot so you always want to do that just make sure that you have it spread out around the base it'll just make it a little bit easier on yourself um, we're going to throw in some random bombs just up here in this area as well, right like this. And uh, we've got that giant bomb section right there. We can go ahead and throw in a bomb right here and a bomb right here as well. Go ahead and bring down this and let's throw some little builder's huts in front of our cannon to help protect it just a little bit. And then we're just going to finish putting these guys around and we will be good to go with this base, guys. I think this is going to be an interesting base. Um, and I think that when people come to attack it, they're going to be a little bit confused as to what's going on with it because they've never seen a base like this. So we'll see what happens with it. I'll definitely show you guys in the replays what's going on. We've got a shield right now, so I'm not attacking for a little bit unless I stream. But that is going to be it for this episode, guys. I hope that you all enjoyed. And as always, make sure you keep calm and you clash on for me, right? See you guys later. Peace.